Hello students, I welcome you all to this English class. Before going to the text, I would like to tell you something about the context as a pre-reading pre activity. Here before the text begins, I would like to tell you about the about a story, the story of the rabbit and the tortoise. You know this is a very popular story which you all know. The story is a famous one. It is a fable. Do you know what is a fable? Fable is a story in which animals are the characters. Animals behave as human beings and these animals teach and delight us. And here in this story which we have already read previously and listened to our predecessors, our seniors. The story goes like this, the story of rabbit and the tortoise. You know that there was a competition between the rabbit and the tortoise. The rabbit was overconfident. The rabbit was a fast runner, whereas the tortoise was a very slow runner. But the story proves that although the rabbit is a rapid runner, it is a failure in the context and in the competition. The story goes like that. The rabbit sleeps initially because it was confident of its agility, it was confident of its speed. Therefore, it is slept initially. But what happened to the tortoise? The tortoise kept on going. It continued running and running and running. Although slow, there was it was steady. So slow and steady wins the race. When the rabbit got up, when the rabbit woke up from sleep, with a start. It started running towards the target, but by the time it reached the target, the tortoise had already marked the point and he has reached the target already and it has become vic victorious. It has become the winner. This is what we know in the part one of the story. This is what we know about the story, what we have listened to in the past, but the story does not end there. Now the story, the second part of the story goes like this. Now this part is added to the story, the rabbit and the tortoise. When the rabbit was a failure, it approached the tortoise and a request for another competition and the tortoise immediately and instantly agreed to the proposal given by the rabbit. He agreed and another competition took place and now the rabbit did not sleep and it became the winner. In the part one, the tortoise became the winner. In part two, the rabbit became the winner, but one is thesis, the other is antithesis. Let us now think of the synthesis. What is the synthesis? The rabbit and the tortoise sat together and the discussion and decided how both of them should be the winners and they wanted to hold another competition and in that competition there were some terms and conditions. The terms and conditions were like this. The target was set on the other side of a river and they decided that they have to cover land and water. When the tortoise will be there on the land, it cannot walk so rapidly, therefore it will sit on the rabbit's back. The rabbit will carry the tortoise on its back and when they came to the water body, the 
rabbit sat on the tortoise's back. The tortoise swam across the river and both of them reached the target at the same time and therefore now both of them become winners. And what do we learn here? Why I am speaking all these things? In the part one, you win. In part two, I win. In part three of the story, both win. Which is more important? In the first part, one is a winner. In the part two, another one is a winner, winner. But in the part three, two people at the same time are winners. Therefore, this is more preferable. And therefore, it is said that two minds are better than one. One mind can take a decision properly. But when two minds will be together, they can take a good decision. The decision will be quite right. Therefore, two minds are always preferable or better than one mind. Because coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress. And working together is a success. So coming together is a beginning. In the, all these three things I tell you, to the sense of togetherness, togetherness is there. Coming together, keeping together, working together. So when we come together, it is the beginning of a work. When we keep together, it is the progress. And we, when we work together, it is success. Therefore, these three things are very important for us, togetherness. In part one, we know slow and steady wins the race. It is, this was the dictum initially, but now it is no longer a dictum because the third thing is very important. The part three is very important in which we find speed and accuracy. Now the dictum, the proverb, slow and steady wins the race is replaced with speed and accuracy. This is more important. Speed and accuracy is preferable to slow and steady. Dear students, let us put our heads together and say no to individual identity. Embrace collective efforts for success. No individual identity. Individual is not important. Collective identity is important. Individual identity is less important than collective efforts. So, anything started with collective efforts must be successful. Do you know what am I hinting at? Why am I speaking all these things? What is it about? Teamwork, isn't it? It is teamwork. Therefore, let us now go to the text, the magic of teamwork. It is by Sham Pitroda. The magic of teamwork by Sham Pitroda. About the author, Sham Pitroda was born in the Titlagar subdivision of Odisha and all the man of Odisha and he could do a lot of things for India as well as for the world. His contribution to the communication revolution was immense. He was the father of communication revolution in India. So, he was father of India's communication revolution. You know, the mobile you are now using, this is all possible due to this gentleman, Sham Pitruda, man of Odisha, born in Balangir, Tetlagar subdivision. And he was the father of India's telephone communication revolution. He was chairman of National Knowledge Commission also. He was advisor to Prime Minister of India. He was also chairman and CEO World Tel Limited. He was a founder of and CEO of CSAM. And he was also found advisor to the UN in 1992. Such a great man. And he has authored this book, this text, the magic of teamwork. There is magic in the teamwork. Let us now see. 
come to the unit one of the text. In the unit one of the text, we have some keywords. One is implementation. The meaning of implementation is execution or a practical application of something. Something has to be implemented. The verb form is implement. Implementation is now, its verb form is implement. M uh, making policies without implementation is meaningless. If we make policies and uh, we do not implement the policies, the rules and the regulations, uh, uh, it is not, it's not meaningful. So, we have to make policies and we have to implement the policies also. Gang up, meaning to join together in a group. Particularly, the meaning is derogatory or negative. Envious people gang up to harass the rising talents. So, another word, key word that we come across in the unit one of the text is committed, dedicated, meaning committed. A dedicated mind brings laurels of a victory. Committed. If you do something wholeheartedly, and you are committed to, to your work, you are committed to your studies, you are committed to your duties, you are dedicated to your duties, that therefore, you are committed. In the, in the unit one of the text, you see, policies abound in India, but the problem of implementation persists. Policies are made, we have a lot of ideas, our ideas are great, policies are great, but we make policies. Whereas, it is very difficult to implement, they are, not, they are not implemented, they have to be implemented, this is what the writer tells you about. Sam Petroda says, the key problem in India is always implementation, not lack of policies. So, the key problem in India is implementation of policies, it is not lack of policies. We have policies, we have great ideas, great policies. We have great policies and ideas, but severely lack teamwork. We have great policies and great ideas, but we severe, severely lack teamwork. Team spirit is not there. We want to do things alone. And he says about a joke. There was a joke, car was being prepared, it was underway. A joke went uh, uh, around about the development of the Maruti, Maruti Suzuki car in India. When the Japanese came to India to develop the Maruti Suzuki car, there was a joke. One Indian was equal to 10 Japanese. One Indian was equal to 10 Japanese. Is it right? Is it a fact? Is it true? I think not. Because the reverse is true. Actually, the reverse is true. Opposite is true. Ten Indians were equal to one Japanese. Ten Indians were equal to one Japanese because Jap the Japanese believe in teamwork. They work in a group. Group they work in a team. Team is important because uh, and uh, actual thing is that ten Indians were equal to one Japanese, and that is important. And our teamwork in India suffers a lot, suffers a serious setback due to lack of team spirit. We Indians believe in individual importance, individual identity in, a, in an office what happens? The senior man always wants to be important. The senior man, he may not know things better, but he wants to be important. But a young man who comes to the office armed with knowledge, armed with information, his ideas will be not be, will not be taken into consideration. His ideas will not be taken into count. He will not be considered important. But the senior man's importance is taken into consideration. This happens. So this is the problem of lack of teamwork, lack of team spirit. Uh, yes, dear students, here I would like to uh, refer to the crab mentality. 
what is the crab mentality? The crab mentality is referred to by Shampitoda himself. He says Indians suffer from this mentality. They have the crab mentality. What is the nature of the crabs? You know, the crabs have a mentality when you know there is a story also. One day a man was carrying a basket of crabs and it was open. A court rival asked him, Hello, gentlemen, you were carrying a pot of crabs, a basket of crabs, and it is open. Will they not come out? And the man replied, No, it is not possible. They won't come out. They can't come out. Because, you know, individually they can come out. But while one tries to come out, the others drag him down, pull him down. They grab at each other in a useless competition. Therefore, success is impossible. They can't come out. Humans behave alike. Human behave. Human beings also behave like crabs. As the crabs don't allow others to come out, human beings also don't allow others to rise. And the human beings, it's a metaphor. You see, metaphor is a metaphor. Metaphor is a comparison of a dissimilar objects to bring out the similarity. It is a comparison to bring out the similarity between two dissimilar objects. But comparison is there. He, the, uh, he is the lion of our team and here lion is the metaphor. The word lion means it is a king of the forest. It is, acts like a metaphor. The comparison is there. The lion is compared to the captain of a team. Therefore, lion and the captain are comparable, similarities are there. So, this is a metaphor, here the crab is also a metaphor. So, the essence of this story is that I would not do it, I would not let you do it either. This attitude dampens team spirit and damages success, dampens team spirit. So, team spirit is lost, where, where does this attitude come from? Where does this crab mentality come from? It comes from cultural background, it comes from sense of seniority, it sense from it comes from sense of superiority. Cultural ground caters to the crab mentality. It was there in the past, it is there with us, it will be there, it will be inherited by our successors also. The sense of a seniority is another thing. If you go to an office, the senior knows the bet best. He, he may not know things, but he is senior, but he, therefore he knows the best. Sense of a superiority is another thing. If somebody is superior in an office, he is supposed to know the best, although he does not know. Let us see, let us come to the end two of the text and the key words here congregate. Congregate means assemble, gather, to be together and strategic means diplomatic. Everybody should be strategic. India is strategic in the war policy. So, strategic means diplomatic. Delegate, hand over, simultaneously at the same time. Egotism, arrogance, psychophancy, flattery. So, the gist of unit 2 is that when Sampitruda was a young man, he attended an executive seminar in for Rockwell International Company in the United States of America. During daytime seminar was there, but in the evenings they broke out into groups of five and they did any work given to them. Nobody grumbled to do things making coffee, making notes, cleaning, cleaning board, anybody was to do anything and grumbling and complaint, there was no room for these things, they are negative things. You have to think positive, work positive and the qualities of a good team player is the respect for others, tolerance, willing, willingness to give resolving conflicts. These are very important qualities of a team player. And what are the killers of team spirit? 
there are some killers of team spirit something uh, some things are there that kill the team spirit and uh, these are the killers political agenda hidden agenda saying something and uh, doing the opposite this is called here after he says it is called split level consciousness thinking saying thinking something saying something doing something different and this is he says this is what he calls split level consciousness in unit 3 when he was working in the c dot company that is telephone and technology development center of india and uh, these are the keywords figure means to think something is true subordinate a person who is less in authority dichotomy separation existing in the two groups and uh, while working in the seat of it was uh, c uh, c dot is a company of a 400 employee size some doing well some were inefficient and telling directly on the face in general meetings they prefer being full side and told about their inefficiency you know Sham Petruda was the head of the company and therefore when he wanted to speak things on the face if some workers were not efficient he wanted to disclose these uh, inefficient people in an in a general meeting so that it will have some positive result but they did not prefer that the workers preferred that they should be pulled aside and told about their inefficiency if somebody was in inefficient he should be pulled aside he should he should be spoken in privacy it should not be exposed in the public in a public meeting or in a general meeting this, their negative qualities should not be spoken about he made that but he meant in a different way he thought criticizing one is for benefit of others if the inefficient people are criticized in a general meeting it will have a good result it will have some positive result that is others will be set right those who will be neglecting their duties for the uh, those who will be neglecting their duties they can improve therefore the inefficiency of certain people should be brought out because others learn from one's mistakes works like inoculation and it works like a vaccination speaking something against one's face on the on one's face against somebody it is like inoculation it is like vaccination so that the disease will be cured and others can be set right by this criticizing boss is also acceptable he also believed in that he also said you can criticize the boss criticizing should be made criticize, criticism can be done to any person so boss to be comfortable accepting criticism from subordinates the boss should feel comfortable and he should accept criticism from the subordinates he should not be vindictive if criticism comes from some quarters from the subordinates this is what he says here and the concept not a part of indian system but this concept is not a part of indian system in india there is a crab mentality everybody wants to be important a man who is in the office he wants to be important by himself and therefore important things have to be taken care of the mass, the boss must see to the psychological health of the workers also and the uh, you know the boss also has some duties he should not only criticize he should not only criticize the inefficient people in the public or general meeting he should also see to the psychological health of the people psychological that is the mental condition of the people whether the people are good or not whether they are are they safe are they stable are they secure are they comfortable these are the major things the bus should take care of the bus should also accept criticism he should look to the stability of the people he should look at the mental condition of the people he would look to the security of the people 
he should see whether they are compatible or not. These things have to be taken care of and these are the important duties of a boss. Yes, dear students, Sham Peter speaks of a lot of things about the teamwork. Teamwork is very important you know and success is maximum if you work in a, in a team and if you work alone success is less and as he says that the boss of an office may criticize the subordinates but simultaneously she should also take care of the mental health of the people. So, self esteem he hints at a very important thing what we call the self esteem, self respect and self respect, self esteem is a key to is a key prerequisite to any successful system. If a system will be successful the prerequisite for the successful system is self esteem, self respect. Everybody is to be respected, all individual workers are important in the office. The officer is important and the officials are also important. He attaches importance to all the all kinds of people, all kinds of workers. He does not like two things. He says these are the enemies of teamwork, your dichotomy and a difference in respectability between physical and mental workers. If there is a dichotomy and a difference in respectability between the physical and mental workers success will not be there. The teamwork will be lost, the team spirit will be lost. Therefore, one has to take care of that the fact that there should not be any dichotomy and difference among the people, among the workers. For this team performance is seriously affected you know, if there is a dichotomy and a difference in the workers the team performance is seriously affected, the team spirit is affected, team performance is affected, there will be less performance and success will be less. He had a driver, Sam Petroda says about his driver also, he gives importance to his driver, he gives importance to his car driver, he does not feel that he is a, he is a subordinate, he does not feel that he is less important and he is the boss of the office and he is more important. And you know in, it, in India it happens when an officer goes in a car, he the driver, what does the driver do? He comes out to open and close the door for him, car door for him. He opens the door for him, he closes the door for him. It happens in India because the bossism is there. The boss thinks himself a superior, but it, he does not like it. He was the boss, he was the chief of the company, but he, say, he, he says, Rambhai, please do not come to open, he calls him Rambhai. Although he was the driver, he called him Rambhai. Rambhai, please do not come and come to open and do open and close the door for me. You will do it. You can do this. This is what he says. You can do, th do that if I lose my hands. I, God has given me a pair of hands. I can use my hands. I can close the open and close the door for myself. Why should you come and close the open and door the close for me? I did not, he says, I did not want to treat him like a mere driver. He did not treat him as a mere driver. He had to become a team player because he is one among us, amongst us. He was one of the team players. He is also a team player. The officer has his importance, the driver also has his importance in the office all are important, they do their work. So, he said do not come to close open and close the door for me, rather help in some simple official work when not driving. So, when you are not driving, please come to 
to the office, do some official work. Better come to the office and do the things. You can make copies, you can send faxes, you can answer to phone calls, than sit in the car. Why sit in the car idle? Come to the office, sit here, do, do these manual works, manual work, making copies, sending faxes, answering phone calls, than sitting, than sit in the car. Now, come to the unit 4 of the text. Come to the keywords, invariably means always, second fiddle, subordinate and the gist of the unit 4, diversifying tasks increase workers self esteem and motivation. These are very important things, very important points. One is self esteem, the other is motivation. If diversifying tasks are given to the officials in an office, it can increase their self esteem, self respect, self dignity. It will also increase their motivation. They will feel motivated, they will feel inspired, they will feel encouraged to do things. Therefore, diversifying tasks, a particular work should not be there, should not be given to a particular person. It will be boring, it will be hackneyed, it will be stereotyped for him. He will not derive pleasure from that. Therefore, self esteem is important, motivation is also important. And when you encourage the people, if you, if you encourage them, they will feel inspired. Even if, if you call them even at night, mid, at midnight, they will be ready for that. Even if cold at a midnight, he is ready because he says, I respect him for what he does. Whenever I call an official, when I call anybody else in the office, he is ready because I love him, I respect him, I respect for what he does. I have respect for what he does and everybody should be respected, everybody should be loved in the office and if you love them, people will love you and when you will come forward to do things, they will come forward to help you to cooperate with you and therefore, the story here tells you about I mean the true spirit of Sampitroda. Sampitroda here tells you in the units we have already done, in these parts of the text, we come to know that team spirit is important, team spirit is important and you have to take care of the team spirit. Sampitroda hints at teamwork and for teamwork a lot of things are there which everybody should take care of. Sam Pitruda believes in teamwork, he believes in the people who are engaged in the teamwork, they should be criticized, they should be loved, they should be respected and therefore, we should see that the great man in the office should not attack the subordinates always. He should love, respect and criticize simultaneously. It will create in the workers a spirit of going. They will feel, they will go on working and working and working and the, when the team spirit is there, they will be good, honest and the team work will be successful. Yes, dear students, let us now see what Sam Pitruda tells you about the team, magic of teamwork. He says, what happens in an Indian office? Nobody wants to play second fiddle. Nobody wants to play second fiddle. Second fiddle means subordinate. And you see, nobody wants to become subordinate in an office. Everybody wants to be at the top. And this is playing second fiddle.
second fiddle means subordinate actually nobody wants to be unimportant everybody wants to be important in a in an office in an indian office this happens in india what he says but this doesn't happen in other countries he has traveled a lot of countries he has traveled the whole world and he has come to the conclusion that this happens in india nobody wants to play the second fiddle Every, nobody wants to be subordinate everybody wants to be important everybody wants to be like the boss that happens in india and uh, this is a difficult therefore it is very difficult to build teams build, this is detrimental to building teams another important thing he says he hints at the team spirit and he says it is very hard in india to find good losers everybody wants to be a winner everybody wants to win the game nobody wants to be a loser you know in a game somebody will be a loser somebody will be a winner one will be a winner the other will be a loser but nobody wants to accept to become the loser everybody wants to be the winner this is a problem that is found in india when you lose sham you should move on actually loss makes you move loss makes you move victory makes you move but loss makes you move more and more you know that failure is the filler of success if somebody fails this failure can provide a kind of incentive this failure can give him strength to work harder and harder because it is the failure that can work as a as an inoculation it will work as a vaccination therefore that is also important he says be experts working with diversity diversity is also important don't always think of prosperity prosperity is as important as diversity and diversity is also important and diversity is as important as prosperity so you should all always try to work with diversity leave personal caste and community interests don't care for these things personal interest caste interest community interest if you attach importance to these things these are the killers of team spirit if you give attach importance to personal interest caste interest community interest team spirit will be lost success will be lost therefore he says don't think of personal interest don't think of caste interest don't think of community interest you will be successful there will be teamwork and here therefore he says he puts bishab his two important persons one is a ceo the other is a vp see him the chief executive officer of a company he is a man he is a man of 40 years old but the vp is a senior person a vice president he is the senior most person and a man of 55 he is an he is a senior person but the 40 year old man ceo he is a young man but he says if the senior person vp says that i am important in the office the what is what is about what is about that 40 year old man he may know better things he may have more knowledge but his importance will be lost because he is junior but that should not be there he says capac capability expertise count capability and expertise very he gives these two terms if you are capable that is very important if you have expertise that is very important capability and expertise count other things are not important age is not important post is not important but how capable you are if you are capable and ex expert in the things you can give 
better result you can work better and here he says teamwork is key to corporate and national governance key these are the key this, these things i mean uh, key teamwork or team spirit is very important and it is important uh, uh, it is important to for what for corporate governance for national governance for any kind of a governance for any kind of rule this teamwork is important team spirit is important we believe in teamwork and without teamwork we cannot work well he says don't be afraid of pressure he says don't succumb to pressure don't be afraid of pressure and you see pressure pressure you know people say that i have a lot of work in the office i am under pressure there are a lot of things to do in the office i am not capable of doing these things within a very short span of time i can't complete things in the right time i am under pressure but he says don't say like that i am under pressure pressure is not important because pressure will make you move forward pressure will make you work better and you will be perfect when you work under pressure so pressure is he says a very important thing very, very important line he says pressure is what turns a lump of coal into diamond you know how is coal formed it is formed under pressure when the fossil remains under water for thousands and thousands of years under pressure coal is formed for uh, so it takes thousands and thousands of years for the coal to be formed so pressure is important so coal is formed under pressure and when again and again more and more pressure is exerted on coal coal becomes a diamond and a very immortal line he says at, at last is pressure is what turns a lump of coal sorry coal into diamond so coal becomes diamond under pressure so pressure don't say i am under pressure i can do things i am not able to carry on things because i am under pressure this is a bad thing and uh, let's now see now come to the vocabulary part of the text the post reading activity we first started the pre reading activity that is the story the rabbit and the tortoise then the in between the story we also told a story that is the crab story the crab mentality and here the post reading activities the post mortem of the text and let's now come to the vocabulary part of the story vocabulary part of the text we have a, we have a lot of words here and in these words you see he has used a number of verbs and let us now change the verbs into their noun forms the first is complete what would be the verb form you see when we change this verb into a noun we simply add i o n e is deleted then i o n i o n is added then the other word is dedicate in the same way it is dedication then define
define when it becomes noun it is definition and in the same way migrate migration narrate narration negotiate negotiation repeat repetition you look what the answers complete completion define definition migrate migration narrate narration negate negotiate negotiation repeat repetition now find out the synonyms of these words synonyms means the words that have the same meaning answers dedicated committed congregate gather conflicts differences assume support increase enhance and we have encourage insulting team require hidden you will find you see the answers find out the antonyms of these words always never equal unequal worse better senior junior create destroy write the antonyms of these words these are the and antonyms given here and uh, yes dear students you see sham petroda actually has highlighted a lot of things to make the text more understandable and here in the text we come to know in the unit 1 of the text he says that uh, team work is team work is very important for this team work we need a lot of things and we have to take care of the things for the team spirit and the team spirit is important for the team work and the boss is important in an office but the more important people are the officials and their interest should be taken care of their self esteem should be taken care of and another important thing that is a killer for the team spirit that is dichotomy and a difference because people think something speak something and act something different so such a split level consensus should be should not should be avoided should not be there and actually in the true sense of the term sampitruda has made a perfect delineation of the text with the right thought right approach and a right technique and as a man of information he has actually taken care of all the aspects of human life and how human beings should live in society should work in society should live in society in a perfect way that is the important thing that we come to know that uh, the corporate sectors the national governance all these things depend on the work of the officials the work of the employees the employees are very important the office the boss is important the boss may criticize the subordinates in the same way he should also accept and uh, accept criticism from the subordinates and everybody should be should be together to live a, lead a better life thank you very much